thanks. So, anyway, I was making some last minute corrections on my term paper when Reed knocked over the bottle of alcohol and drenched the whole thing. Which wouldn't have been so bad, except when I jumped back and went through the flame on the Bunsen burner and turned into a blazing fireball. Here you go. At least you have the evidence to prove your story. Sort of. The only word my teacher could read out of the whole mess was disestablish materiality. So where exactly are we? Uh, Wait, what? Well, the weather for the whole area will continue much the same as the past few days. Temperature 17 centigrade, that's 14 Wind will freshen the region to southwest, and it's 6 or 7. The showers sometimes heavy. Never fear, citizens. <sighs> Kelsey, we'll call a mechanic. <laughs> what road are we on? David? Okay, I think we're on this road here, but it's only a mile long. So? Well, I haven't been paying much attention, but we haven't turned for two hours. That's impossible. Are you sure you know what you're doing? All right then, you tell me where we are. Sorry guys, I couldn't get a signal. Well, the good news is that there's nothing wrong with the engine. So why won't it work? That would be the bad news. Okay, we're stuck in the middle of nowhere, we can't find our position on the map, and both the car and the cell phone won't work. Yeah. Hey guys, come look at this. What do you think that is? I don't know, a house maybe? All the way out here? Well, I guess it couldn't hurt to go look. Kelsey, you keep trying your cell phone. Hey Reed, where'd you get all these from? Well, our family just went camping and I didn't have time to unload the uh, car. I guess laziness really can pay off. Okay, I think we're ready. Dang it, how long have we been walking out here? Too long, David. Someone turned it off. Eh, that's okay. I think it was in this direction. What do you think, Sissette? Well, it's where the light was coming from, but I don't think anybody's here. 
Maybe they're all inside. Oh, fine, you big sissies. I'll do it. Guys, there's something sticky all over the tent flap. Kelsey, I think that's blood. Oh, ah, Kelsey, watch it. Okay, that's blood on that tent then. Yeah, I know. Uh, Devin, Kelsey, come on, let's get out of here. If the, when we get back to the car, Kelsey can try herself on the Are you sure we're headed in the right direction? But how did we? We're going in circles. Which way did we come in? Okay, we came in facing the tent, so we need to go that way. David, this isn't possible. We're behind the tent. Maybe we should try a different direction. But we could end up out in the middle of nowhere. Where do you think we are now? <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. This is getting really weird. <laughs> Let's face it, we're not gonna find the car tonight. What do you mean? Are you sure this is as far away from that tent as we're going to get? Who knows? But well, at least we can't see it. Wow, how much stuff do you have in here, Reed? It never hurts to be prepared. Yeah, but carrying it might. You know, I think we all better get some sleep if we hope to hike all the way out to the highway tomorrow. But at least one of us should stay up and stand guard. I'll take the first shift if no one minds. I hate having to wake up in the middle of the night. Hey, David. I think the fire could use a few more sticks before I add the larger kindling. Yeah, sure, I'll be right there. <laughs> 